Hi, Graham from Concept Music here, and you might have watched our earlier videos on how to buy a secondhand instrument. And one thing that I feel I should cover is what about the cheap $99 ones you can buy online? Uh, because they really do look pretty good from a photograph. So why should I not buy a $99 flute, trumpet, trombone online? And the first reason is your teacher's probably going to their heart's going to sink when you turn up with one of those instruments because they know that it's just going to be trouble for you. They know it's going to be hard to play. They know it's going to be impossible to repair. They know that it's going to be out of tune. So you, t you want your teacher on side. You want, when you walk into your first lesson or your second lesson or next year's lessons, you want the teacher to go, oh wow, what a great instrument. This is going to be a pleasure teaching you. You're going to have a great experience. You're going to get a great sound out of it. But what is the difference? Because they do look on the table from six feet away, they look exactly the same. Most of it is in the design of the metal. I mean, we prefer Yamaha instruments over all the other brands in brass and woodwind. It doesn't mean there's no other good brands. There's a lot of good brands. But Yamaha are such a good instrument. They put so much research and development, product development into their instruments. And if it was, if it was possible to make a good instrument for $99, Yamaha would do it, trust me. The difference is in the metals, it's in the design. It's easy for someone to come along, make something that looks a bit like a flute, stick it in a case, and sell it for $99. But to make something that plays in tune, that sounds good, that's easy to play, that the pads work when you push them down without you pushing them down like that. If you buy a good instrument, it'll be easy to play. You learn with very good technique. You buy a cheap instrument, you'll be pushing hard, you'll be trying hard, it won't sound any good. Your chances of giving up are a lot higher than starting with a good instrument. Second thing is the repairers won't look at them. You turn up with a $99 flute and they tell you, well, that's gonna cost $110 to get serviced, and by the way, it still won't play any good and it still won't be in tune. You've wasted, you've wasted your $100 plus your servicing costs. So please, I know it's expensive. I'm a parent myself. I've got a grandchild starting music. I know it's expensive, but the best investment you can make is to buy a good instrument from the very beginning. It's best for your child. It's best for the teacher. It'll give them an enjoyable experience. It'll be easy to play. It will be trouble free and you won't have to replace it a few months down the track. So um, stick, stay away, just steer away from those $99 instruments as tempting as it is. It's the argument of, oh, it's just to get them started to see how they go. You are greatly increasing their chances of not going any further with it by buying one of those instruments. So bite the bullet. I'm sorry to say it, there's no other nice way to say it. Bite the bullet, get a good instrument, and they've got a great chance of having a terrific musical experience.